Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is a little bit of an experimental series going to be going on here. Um, what I have done is, actually I can hurry and go back and show you real quick. I have stripped away all of the allies and rivals from these people. The, uh, the Only a few still survive, like Virgil and uh, Million Dollar Man, obviously, I want to keep together. Otherwise, we're not going to see them at all. So, um, what I've done is I've kept all the champions the same. This is on a totally different profile, an offline profile. So it's not screwing anything up in my universe mode, thankfully. Um, and we're gonna see what happens if I play this universe mode the way I used to play it way back in the day, way back in, uh, 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 Smack, uh, Smackdown, not Shut Your Mouth, but the other one. Here Comes the Pain. I used to play it this way. And basically what it is, is you get the champions like this. It had an easier way to set up the champions and stuff, and set up heel face and all that good stuff. But we're gonna leave the champions as they are. So on Raw, the shield is dominating the mid card. John Cena on top, and AJ Lee will float over as Diva's champ. Um, and then we are going to have on SmackDown the NXT Championship, which the uh, Tag Team Championship, which I quite like a lot. You know, it kind of signifies they're the next Tag Team Champions. You know, I, I really like the next gimmick. Uh, Wade Barrett is the Intercontinental Championship. I still think that's one of the prettiest Intercontinental belts. Maybe the other one is good as well, but... Mm. So we're going to do that there. And then we're going to do Del Rio as the, uh, the 9802, the Attitude Era Champion, pretty much uh, before the Invasion Angle and all that other fun stuff. Because I like the look of that championship as well. And it was purdy. So we're going to have the, the Battle of the Two Brands here. They're going to be separate for almost most of the time. But what we're going to do here is gonna we're going to switch gears, right? We're going to let rivalries make themselves. We don't have any past rivalries. We don't have any rivals. So it's not going to set up uh, Cena versus CM Punk because they're rivals and they're both at the top of the rankings. It's going to totally switch around. It's going to, hopefully, this is what I'm, this is a, a kind of an experimental thing. Uh, but what we're going to do here is we are going to just change participants in this first match here. And we are going to see who our uh, new person is. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to randomly pick somebody. Uh, what I want to do real quick is see if it randomly picks a diva. I don't want to pick a diva, but will it randomly pick a, a downloaded superstar? I think it just did uh, with Kevin Nash, right? Selecting Kevin Nash. It did. Perfect. Okay, so we don't want to be Kevin Nash, so we're going to back out, and we're going to try that again. Okay, so here we go. This is it. We're going to randomly choose a superstar, and we're going to play pretty much the old school way I used to in uh, Here Comes the Pain. Whereas I would skip almost everything until my guy got something, until I interfered in a match, and I made something happen. Made something of myself, took the ball, ran with it. So here we go. I'm pressing Y. I'm pressing Y. I'm really scared. <sighs> Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I don't really want to be a legend. I would rather be someone of the current era. Mm, yeah, so I don't really want to be... Yeah, see, I don't want to be Mr. McMahon either. I just want to be... Okay, well, alright. Well, Damian Sandow. That's fine. I feel like I could do Damian Sandow. His gimmick is going to be hard, though, because I'm not smart. But okay, we're, we're going to be Damian Sandow. We are part of the SmackDown brand. So basically what this is going to be is a weekly uh, series, right? So we're going to see this here. Today is... Thursday. You'll be seeing this on Friday. So, um, every... Let's see. No. Should I make this a Saturday thing? I don't know. When should I put this up? Should I put this up every Sunday? I guess that makes sense, right? Okay, so let's do it every Sunday. I'll have this up on Sunday. Uh, this is something I'm working on in the middle of the week, obviously. I didn't get poker done, so this is what we're getting. Alright, so let's go to Monday Night Raw, and let's see what Raw cooks up. Yes, um, it'll have the, uh, WWE.com updating things. So Tensai beats David Otunga. AJ Lee beating Nikki Bella. Fandango versus Brodus Clay. Brodus Clay wins that match. Interesting. Santino Morella versus Zack Ryder in the fourth match. That's uh, going to be Zack Ryder. And then the main event. Oh, also, I do want to say that I did change the shows. So Monday Night Raw has six matches. Uh, Superstars has four. And SmackDown has six. That way, it, it, it seems a little more like what it actually is. Main event, uh, I, might, I might actually change it to main event because, you know, that way it means something. I hate superstars. All right, so then it's Ryback versus Ziggler, last man standing match, and Ziggler, of course, wins that match. All right, so here we are on superstars. Do we have a match? That's what we're going to look for. We're looking for Damian Sandow here, and I don't see Damian Sandow. Uh, the people of our brand, I think, are Sinkara. I don't think these guys are... I think most of these guys are Raw guys. 
I think Sin Cara and Titus O'Neil are uh, SmackDown guys. But we're going to just simulate for this first week. And we're going to see if we can't make something happen. And, it, and if I have to, at the end of this video, put a little promo or something of a vignette of Damian Sando, I will. But uh, I want to see if, they, if it cooks up anything. Because I don't have any rivalries anywhere. I don't have anything anywhere. Let's see. Is there a good is there a good spot for me to weasel in here somewhere? So let's look at the rivalries. What they've done for rivalries on SmackDown. So they've got Titus versus Jinder, Cesaro versus Sin Cara, and Del Rio versus Mark Henry for the championship. And that's going to be running for a while. Okay. So now another way I kind of want to play this is if I'm Damian Sandow and I'm stuck in this position and I just saw that that's what WWE is planning for is rivalries and stuff. Who do I want to attack? Do I want to attack Christian? Do I want to attack Drew McIntyre? No, it's not really my spot, is it? Um, I could interfere here, but I could only interfere as a diva, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Gabriel versus Slater. So, let's see, what could we do? Could we try to go for a three-man band versus Christian, Justin Gabriel, and myself, Damian Sandow? I don't know. Uh, we can't. Ob we obviously cannot interfere in the rivalry matches. Those things are something that WWE has booked, and they're booking all the way up to Extreme Rules. So if I'm Damian Sandow, and I want to interfere in either... Well, we can't interfere here, so let's X that immediately. Let's X this one, Titus O'Neil. Uh, let's X this one and this one. Okay, so let's see what uh, they've got going there. Titus O'Neil um, is now hooking up with Exana. <laughs> So there we go. That's our first connection in this uh, weird universe mode I'm cooking up. Titus O'Neil and Oksana. All right. Uh, competition between Sin Cara and Cesaro is heating up. All right. That's gonna be that's gonna be pretty good too. We might watch some of these matches as well. Uh, you know, if we're Damian Sando, that's all we have, right? We have to watch these matches. So if we're Damian Sando, can we think of a good competitor to rival with right now? Obviously, Damian Sandow is a heel, and he wants to go against a face. So if I do attack, it won't be against Drew McIntyre. It won't be against Heath Slater. Now, do we go against Christian, or do we go against Justin Gabriel? Where... I can't really do a South African gimmick. So I think I'm leaning towards feuding with Christian if I can. And I think that's what I'm going to try to do here. So we're going to X this one as well. Slater... Losing to Justin Gabriel. And we're going to interfere here. As Damian Sandow. We're going to try to get something going. It's not too bad. I mean, you know. This is our first match. It's our first week as Damian Sandow. He's, he, and in real life, he's been having a shit career. So let's try to make something out of Damian Sandow. If we get sick of Damian Sandow, we'll just reset. We'll switch a new guy. We'll find a new guy. Like, like Paul Heyman. If the Paul Heyman guy I selected sucks, I'll drop him and I'll pick someone else up who's better. So this is going to be week one here. Drew McIntyre accidentally axing the ref. Now it's Christian versus Drew. And here comes, here comes Damian Sandow. Damian Sandow picking up Christian. Taking him down. Go ahead, Drew McIntyre. Go ahead. Go for the pin, man. Go for the pin, man. I'll get the ref. I'll get the ref. Now, if I'm Damian Sandow, I don't want to team up with 3MB. It's a clash of characters, right? There's a goofy, uh, stupid rock band, and then there's Damian Sandow. So we don't want to hook up with 3MB. We just want to go against Christian. That's the goal. So we just helped Drew McIntyre win. Now let's see what we can get going out of this. I'm actually going to do as a first episode special. I'm going to actually do another week here just for you. So if you could hit the like button, that'd be amazing. I don't think I've seen anyone do this type of a thing on universe mode. I don't think I've ever had any. <laughs> I don't think anyone has ever taken the damn time to remove all allies and all rivals of every superstar. Uh, but whatever. All right, so here we go. So let's look at WWE.com. No new news. Okay, so let's go to the calendar. Now there should be six matches. The reason I'm doing this also is because it's going to give a little more like like this. Like this is a perfect example. There's no rivals. Like it's almost like a brand new show. Everyone's just trying things out. Kofi is teaming with Ray. Brock Lesnar teaming with Big E. So that's pretty interesting. And Ray defeats Brock Lesnar and Big E. That's interesting. Uh, triple Threat, David Otunga, Tensai, and R-Truth. 
Obviously, our truth goes over Otunga there. Tensite kind of off in the wings. Brodus Clay and Fandango again. This is the second time they've had a match. And Fandango wins. All right, so we need a rubber match between them. Uh, Ryder and Santino Morella. Ooh, former partners. I've destroyed their tag team. By the way, you want to see the tag teams. Uh, let's see. Oh, I... Oh, mm -mm. We'll look at the teams here. So we only have the shield. I wanted to keep them because obviously they're kind of a grouped gimmick at the moment. And when they break up, that's when I want to see it. Uh, Real Americans, they someone had to be a tag team champion. So I was like, Real Americans are cool. So we'll do that. Very interesting that Cesaro's going against Sin Cara. So is Sin Cara going to pick up a partner and go against Jack and Cesaro? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, the prime time players are uh, a tag team as well because apart, they're kind of nothing. And it's also interesting that Titus O'Neil is in a rivalry and he's attracting the attention of Aksana. So is Aksana going to join the primetime players? <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, 3MB. So obviously he Slater lost his match to Justin Gabriel. We helped Drew McIntyre win. They're still kind of a junky group. And then these guys, the Million Dollar Corporation. I don't know. Should I just delete them? I don't know. I think I should. I think I should delete them. So we'll delete them as well. And we'll get some new tag teams. It's going to be a slow startup because... Uh, all of these superstars need to reconnect with other people, but let's see. So, former tag team here, Cobro, Team Cobro, and Morella beats Zack Ryder. Dean Ambrose versus The Miz, pretty interesting match. Uh, Dean Ambrose wins. And then a number one contenders match, main event of Monday Night Raw. If you don't remember, last week, Dolph Ziggler defeated, was it Ryback in a last man standing match? I think it was. So now he's got CM Punk in a number one contenders match. And CM Punk won that match. CM Punk is your number one contender. What is uh, the rivalries for Raw? Whoops, I went to the wrong thing. Wow, see, that's going to kind of suck for CM Punk. Even though he's won a number one contenders match, Ziggler is the guy going up against uh, Cena. Miz is going up against Truth. We've seen that before. And AJ Lee versus one of the Bellas. I don't know. I don't know who. And then we've obviously got those. Okay, so let's go to superstars. Do we have a match? Maybe? Is Christian involved? No. All right, so we've got Ryder and our truth No. Swagger and The Rock. Ooh. No. Sin Cara and Drew McIntyre. Um, well, Drew McIntyre won last week thanks to us. And he lost Sin Cara, so he is pretty junk. Uh, Jericho and Langston. Uh, Langston won out. So, okay, here we go to SmackDown. Oh, my God. <laughs> What a tag team match. So we got Undertaker and Randy Orton versus Wade Barrett in the big show. Wow. Uh, whoa, whoa, we've been booked for a triple threat match. And is Christian on the show? He is not. So, you know what? Let's actually chalk it up to uh, where Damian Sandow, we wanted to get attention. And we got the attention of the SmackDown people. Now we need to win a match against Cody Rhodes and the Great Khali. Good God, it's triple threat. Oh, this is going to take forever. Okay, so let's uh, let's axe this here. Let's axe that. Undertaker and uh, Randy Orton defeating Big Show and Barrett, obviously. Justin Gabriel and Heath Slater again. I hate rematches, but well, whatever. Again, Justin Gabriel wins. Rival rematch. Titus O'Neil, Jinder Mahal. So we might have 3MB versus, uh, you know, uh, primetime players coming up. Falls count anywhere. Jinder Mahal wins. Interesting what happened in that. Frustration building. All right, so that's all it said. That's kind of dumb, but uh, you know what are you gonna do? All right, Sinkar versus Cesaro. Cesaro winning that match, obviously, obviously. And then Del Rio versus Mark Henry, and we'll see what happened in those matches as well. So we've got frustration building, and with complete disrespect, Cesaro continued attacking Sinkar after their match. Oh, all right. So Cesaro showing some character there. All right, well let's get into this. Let's get right into this. I've already... I, I'm pretty sure I've already changed how I play this game to legendary difficulty. So, oh man, triple threat. Jesus, we're going to have to see the rules here. I want an interference on in a triple threat match. Um, in a triple threat match, I think, you know, it should be extreme rules type stuff, right? So we're going to put that there. Um, we are also going to go for no DQ. Good. No DQ. Uh, not false count anywhere. Yeah, so we'll keep it like that, and we'll go ahead and go. So here we go. 
Yes, we are Damian Sandow. We've been booked on Friday Night Smackdown. Cody Rhodes, Damian Sandow. Maybe we should try to rekindle our relationship with Cody Rhodes and try to take down the great Kali. I wouldn't mind that and maybe have a championship match against uh, the Real Americans. There's a lot of avenues we can go as, as Damian Sandow. So the story is of right now, Damian Sandow has picked up the attention of SmackDown. They've given him a match. They've thrown him in here against the Great Collie. This is to show off the Great Collie's skills. And Cody Rhodes and Damian Sandow are being fed to the Great Collie. And we're going to skip entrance because I don't feel like being here for another 20 minutes. The match is going to be 20 minutes alone. All right, so we're backstage. We're getting ready. We're getting pumped up. We're about to go out there and be a superstar in the WWE. We're taking over the career of Damian Sandow. Cody Rhodes making his way to the ring, formerly dashing. Now just Mr. Mustache Cody Rhodes. And he's a little nervous about the great Kali... And here comes Damian Sandow. I haven't done my research. I didn't know that I was going to be picking Damian Sandow, so I'm not prepared with a promo. But if I'm going to be Damian Sandow, I feel like I need to have a promo on my way down to the ring. So I'm going to I'm gonna look up a lot of Damian Sandow stuff. I'm going to really research the character and try to get into it. I'm really happy that it was Damian Sandow too, because he's not really utilized in my universe mode too much. All right, so here we go. Damian Sandow, Cody Rhodes, before the match, giving a look of acknowledgement to each other. They know that the Great Kali is going to conquer them if they don't work together. Hopefully. So that's what we need to do. We need to take down the Great Kali. I'm going to kind of stay out of Cody Rhodes' way. I'm going to let him do some of the damage. And if he needs my help, I'll jump in. Cody Rhodes trying to take the big man down, and he does. Oh no, it didn't save. Oh man. I, I wonder if I pressed B instead of A. Damn it. Oh well. That's alright, we, we still use the announce table. Cody Rhodes. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh! Don't worry, Cody. I got him. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Ah! Uh, all right, Cody Rhodes attacking him from behind. Damian Sandow now keeping him down. A lot of teamwork going on here. Sandow has a chair. Cody Rhodes going off the ropes. Well, he thought he was going off the ropes. Okay, good. <laughs> Knee drop. All right, we're gonna take out the legs of the Great Kali. There we go. It didn't do anything, though. That's that's annoying. Like, if you're going to have that as an option, uh, 2K, come on, make it f interesting. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ugh. There you go. I saved you, Cody. I saved you. Hit him. Hit him. Drop toe hold there. I'm really trying to not hit Cody Rhodes. I do not want to hit Cody Rhodes. I don't want to hit the ref either. All right, there's a sleeper hold. Damian Sandow is allowing it. I don't think Great Collie will tap. Oh, shoot. I hit Cody Rhodes. Damn it. I did not mean to do that. Cody, you, you must understand. Okay, good. He, he doesn't seem to be too angry. All right, double team maneuvers now. I mean, we've really tried to destroy Collie. Oh, my God. Double DDT. Now he's really he's really hurting, and we're going to try to steal the win here. We need to look good, and we need to keep looking good here. I'm not going to attack Cody any more than I have to, because I want it to be played off that, we're, that we are trying to double-team the Great Kali. Hey, Alright, come on. Come on, Cody. Come on. Help me out. Come on, Cody. I'll do my cartwheel. <laughs> I'll do my cartwheel. All right, we need to, uh, well, I don't want to take him out. I just want me and Cody to be friends, that's all. Oh, what is my finishing move here? In the corner? I bet it is. 
Oh, well, we'll let Kali take him out. We'll do the Terminus. Oh, it got reversed. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. Not me. Not me. Him. Him. Uh. -huh. Match continues. Cody Rhodes. Oh, my God. Cody Rhodes just got... Oh. Oh. He just got destroyed. Damian Sandow throwing Great Kali into the middle of the ring. And Great Kali is now be being the dominant superstar. Damian Sandow. Oh, look at him. He's just bashing the head of the Great Kali into the corner. Oh, Tree of Woe. Tree of Woe. Damian Sandow now choking the life out of Great Kali. And I'm going to feed him. I'm going to feed the Great Kali to uh, Cody Rhodes and then pick up the pin. And this is what we have to do. I'm so sorry, Cody. I'm so sorry, Cody. But we have to do this. Going for the pin. One, two, three. Yes. Damian Sandow wins. Yes. Hallelujah. Indeed. Oh, I didn't want to show that. Don't show that in the replay. Damian Sandow and Cody Rhodes attempting a comeback as a tag team against the great Kali here. Forced. Bitter enemies once but now being forced to compete against the Great Kali. They had to work together, obviously. Cody Rhodes doing quite a bit of the work. Damian Sandow making sure Kali didn't ever get the upper hand. Cody Rhodes finished the job. Damian Sandow got the 1-2-3, and Damian Sandow is the winner of this match. Could we see a possible reunion of Damian Sandow and Cody Rhodes teaming up? What was their name? Uh, Team Scholar, uh, Road Scholars? Oh man, that was good. Could we see a reunion of the Road Scholars? Find out next Sunday as we continue the career of Damien Sandow.